I'm Kendra Bailey and I'm an adaptive athlete. I'm an adaptive athlete because I was born without my left arm below the elbow. Because I'm an amputee, one of my biggest pet peeves is when people assume I can't do something without asking me if I can first. The squat clean is a highly technical Olympic lift. It requires the athlete to bring a barbell from the floor uh, to the front rack position and then squat with it so that their hip crease is below the knee and then stand back up. So for somebody like me missing an arm, what that means is I have to approach my training in a way that is appropriate for missing limbs, so I have to create tools. Ever since I was little, I've been able to balance a plate on my arm. So I'm walking around this buffet, my plate is like loaded high with all this food. The uh, waiter comes out of nowhere and he's got this towel and he's following me around going, let me help you, let me help you. He proceeded to follow me all the way to my table just to make sure that I didn't make a ridiculous mess. I had a guy at the grocery store the other day or at the convenience store look at me and I was like, are you okay? And he's like, I feel so sorry for you. He's like, every time I see you, I get sad. Squat cleans are difficult for able-bodied people as it is. Potentially hit yourself in the face with a barbell if you don't know how to receive it properly. There's potential for tearing hamstrings. So the reason why this lift is difficult for me, obviously, um, you need to have both hands to grip the bar. Uh, so what we ended up doing was developing a uh, strap and a chain that is the same length. So from my elbow to about the middle of my hand is what the length of that chain is. Wrap that around the bar and that becomes my new forearm and my fist. It didn't work very well because the chain itself is not rigid enough to act as a forearm. So the bar essentially swung back up and back toward my face. So a lot of times when I go grocery shopping, the uh, checkers or cashiers will ask me if I need help out with my bags. For Four people in front of me had an equivalent amount of stuff, but they weren't offered help with their bags. If I was capable of getting all this stuff to your little conveyor belt, I'm pretty sure I'm capable of carrying a few bags back to the car. I don't ask aloud, but I think about it. You know, in their minds, does, does my amputation somehow limit me as a person? So the reason why the first attempts didn't work was because in a squat clean, the bar path is supposed to travel straight up and down line over the front of my body. So we tried to fix that by tying down the chain. However, the problem we still faced was that the chain was causing the bar to still arc out instead of going in a straight up and down line. So when I first moved here, my bedroom was pretty empty. So I decided to go to Walmart and buy some cheap furniture. So I'm there and I'm pulling this dresser, like this build it yourself particle board dresser thing in a box out of the wall. I've already got it halfway into the cart when this guy runs over and is like, here, let me help you with that. I'm like, dude, box is already in the cart. But he insisted, so I had him grab me a box with like a desk in it. Sometimes you just need to let people help you so that it makes them feel good about themselves. Because honestly, at the end of the day, there are some situations where I just don't want to fight what somebody's assumption about me is. When I do encounter people who don't really understand my amputation, I think in their minds, they do think that for my life, I won't be able to do these things, these things that they're asking. All right, so this was the result of attempt three. Um, it's essentially just a basic metal pipe. It acts as a forearm, adds some stability and rigidity to the left side. It's working out pretty well. It's working out really, really well. Honestly, it's frustrating for them to assume that I'm not going to have the same sense of fulfillment in life as they do. It's a particular slap in the face. Whereas at the gym, I walk in here and the assumption is that I am capable of doing everything that everyone else is able to do. Um, if I work at something in here, the expectation and the assumption is that I will be able to do these things just as well or even better than able-bodied athletes. And if I can't yet, then we'll figure out how to do that.